Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Ferhat, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of plant cycle. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 3. The diagram shows three flowers with some of their parts removed and Charlie sprinkled some pollen grains from a similar flower over these three flowers. And the question is asking which flower would most likely develop to become a fruit? Now, what are the two processes that must occur for a flower to become a fruit? We have pollination and fertilization. Which process must occur first? We have pollination must occur first, followed by fertilization. So when Charlie was sprinkling some pollen grains from flowers of the same species, what process was he trying to do? He was trying to pollinate these flowers. And what structure must be present to be able to receive these pollen grains for pollination to be successful? The stigma must be present for pollination to occur. And out of these three flowers, X, Y, and Z, which of the flowers still has the stigma present? We have flower Z. And where exactly is the stigma? The stigma is attached to the style and is attached to the ovary. So I'm going to write down here, the stigma is present for pollination to occur. What about flowers X and Y? Are the stigmas still present? No, in fact, they have no stigmas for pollination to occur. I'm going to write that down. So is it possible for flower X and Y to develop to become a fruit? No, only flowers that can go through pollination and fertilization for it to become a fruit, giving us the answer as option two. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!